the average height of 27 persons was recorded as 162 cm. If the height of Shriya was deleted from the observation, the average height reduced by 1 cm. What was Shreya's height? See, the traditional way to solve it is like this. I hope all of you know the traditional method. Uh, see, you have 27 people whose average uh, height is recorded as 162 centimeters. So, what is the total height of all the 26 people? It is nothing but 162 into 27, correct? Because average is 162, totally 27 persons are there. So, the total height of all of them is 162 into 27. So, from this total height, the height of Shriya has been removed. Now, the average height is reducing by... 1 centimeter. So, when this is happening, what is the new average? See, from this total height of all the people, when I am reducing Shriya's height, the new average is nothing but 162 into 27 minus Shriya's height divided by 26. Because now there are only 26 people. I have removed Shriya from the group. And this, when this happens, this is equal to 162 minus 1 or that is equal to 161. Correct? What are they saying? The average height has reduced by 1 centimeter. So, earlier the average height was 162 centimeter. Now, it has become 161 centimeter. From this point, you have to solve and find the value of S. So, this is the traditional way in which you solve this question. So, what did we do? We found out the total height of all the 27 students. We subtracted Shriya's height. The new average is nothing but this total height now divided by the 26 students who are left. That is equal to 161. Solve for S. Now, see, uh, this, this takes a bit of time, right? So, uh, when such question comes, if you know the concept of equal distribution, correct? Solving this question will be far more easier. See, in this case, you will have to do S is equal to 161 into 26. You have to find that out again. 162 into 27 minus this value. That will give you the answer. Okay, you will still get the correct answer. The correct answer is actually 188. You will still get that, but it is more time consuming. So, the smart way to solve this question will be that if you know average is nothing but equal distribution of the total amount or quantity of whatever is given among the given persons. Okay, if you know that solving this question becomes very easy. See what is happening earlier the average was 162 and how many people were there? There were 27 people. So what does that mean? See it's like saying that each person has an average height of 162. So Shriya, whoever else is there. Uh, in general, even though that is not their exact height, I can say that the average height each person is 162. Now what has happened when Shriya goes, the average height is reducing by 1 for the remaining people. So what has happened? Now the average height of this 26 people, right? That has become 161. So each height of each person, right, in this group of 26 persons has reduced by 1. Earlier, I can say the average height of each person was 162. That is, for the first person, the average height was 162. Second person, the average height was 162 and so on. When Shriya goes, each person's average height is reducing by 1. Correct? So, totally, the total sum of height, right, that has been reduced for each of this person, when you add that, that is nothing but 26. Okay, and the average height of Shriya was 162. So, what was her total actual height? That is nothing but 120, 162 plus 26 that is equal to 188. I will explain it once again. See what is given here. Average height of the 27 students is given as 162. So, I can say that average height of each student is equal to 162. Now, when I am reducing Shreya's height, the average height of each student is becoming 161. So, from each student, one, is, one uh, point of height is being reduced. Correct? So, totally that accounts to 26. Now, I also know the average height of Shriya earlier was 162. So, what is her actual height? It was 162 plus 26. That is equal to 188. So, if you know this concept, no, you needn't write all these steps. Again, whatever steps I have written also, you needn't write. If the concept is clear to you, you will get the answer in just one step. The correct answer for this question is option E. None of these. Okay, if you are new to this equal distribution concept, refer back to the uh, video lessons that is there in our course, it will be more clear to you.